This thing is the gib for the up and down movement of the tackle. I took it out because there is a little problem with the bolt that holds this gib in place. There is way too much play in it. Result is that when I move the table up, the gib stays in place a few millimeters and while moving up there is some play. Without touching anything I move down, the gib stays in place a few millimeters and becomes too tight to go down. So I think it's time to rework this little slot and make a new bolt for it. I don't think this is the original decal bolt and I adapted it a bit. It was easier to work with an allen key than with a regular spanner to move this uh, hex here. And this is what I'm talking about. This movement is too much and the engagement of this ring here is just a tiny bit and it scores the whole surface of my gib here. I would like to try to make a new bolt out of this thing. Now this is really hard stuff. It's the kind of bolts that hold the engine in place on a ship. So this, uh, this is no shit. But first I have to work this slot again so I can take measurements to make my new bolt. And the ideal machine to work this slot is of course here on the tackle. But yeah, that's not gonna work. File it out by hand. Primitive. It may be not perfect, but I suppose Nothing is perfect here in this world. Let's install the bolt and I can thread this part metric 8 and then adapt the head of the bolt, make it the, the right radius of course and fit here in this slot. will do. This should be now 8 millimeters. Normally to cut threads you cut a little bit undersized, it's uh, 7.8 or something, but the bolt that was in it is 8 millimeters, so I tried to copy this and I'm happy with the result. Clean up this face a little bit. To do that I need to take off of course my carriage stop.
don't know what steel this is, but it leaves a nice finish. Normally when you take your thread cutting stuff, of course this is not the right die that's installed. Except this time I think I was lucky with this one. Look Ma, I have a thread. Just installed the bolt the other way around in the vise and started to cut and this is violent. Poor little machine, it's not used to work that hard. But it is what it is. I think this was the cutting tip. <laughs> yeah. This thing broke. Let's change. Good to go again. It really is hard stuff. That will do. Yes. All this for this stupid little bolt. It looks nice and shiny, but does it work? Let's find out. Oops, I think I did easier things in my life. Fiddly. Right, I will bring you back when it's uh, in place. And of course, 10 seconds after I turned off the camera, the bolt went in as if it was made for it. And I think we have nice results here. Up and down, nice and straight. No left and right movement. If I move the table by hand, Almost no play, in fact it is no play. So, success. Of course that doesn't fix the up and down feed problem I have on this machine. So, I have a few minutes of video left. Let's take the machine apart and see what's happening. But, because I never did this before, I have absolutely no idea how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's not a how-to video, but I will keep you updated. We're now two days later and time for the first update. I took off the table and all these things here. 
I took a, a few other things apart and my kids were absolutely not happy with it because I hurt my back again doing this. I studied a little bit the plans of this machine and if I got it right, I don't know, but I think it, I got it right, this part has to come off this way. So I have to take off the head and this in-between part here, I have to take it off and then take the lead screw system apart in the bottom here that you can't see, but trust me, it's here and then I have to lift this. But of course, physically I'm absolutely not able to do this. And in the comments and in uh, other videos I said that I don't have enough room here to use a lifting system. But this time I don't have a choice. I have to build something to be able to lift this part off. So let's take a walk and see what we can find over here. I have here a collection of colorful pipes and this used to be my kids swing set. Now they don't need the swing set anymore so I can use it to build a crane with it and using this thing as a lifting device. Let's do this. These pipes are very thin wall. This pipe is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit windy today, so the quality of the wells will be, I think, below zero. But we'll see what we can do. Yesterday I invested in mobility. Now I wanted a little bit more solid, consistent uh, casters, but for the moment this was the only thing I could find here in the local do-it-yourself hardware things shop. So this it will be. I think it might even work.
I think that might work. Let's weld the rest in place. I just discovered a small problem with my brand new lifting device. Here's a label. Warning, this product is designed for pulling, not for lifting. Problem fixed. I have absolutely no doubt that this thing will work and will hold. If it can hold a whole bunch of unleashed swinging kits, I'm pretty sure it can also hold a 40 kilo machine part. But we'll see this in the next video.